population growth, and an ever-increasing demand for meat nutrition, are paving the way for a potential protein deficit in the coming years. By 2050, the global demand for meat, as a protein source is expected to exceed the available supply. In this video, we'll delve into the challenges posed by this protein shortage, and explore an exciting solution, that could revolutionize our food system. Over the past 50 years, meat production has more than tripled, with a staggering 80 billion animals being slaughtered annually. On average, people worldwide consume around 43 kilograms of meat per year. However, in regions like Europe, the United States, and Australia, individuals with higher incomes consume up to 80 kilograms, or even over 100 kilograms of meat annually. Future shortages of protein sources including meat, dairy, and plant protein may not just affect less developed nations in Africa, Asia, and South America, but may also affect developed nations. Therefore, producing widely accessible protein products, that don't negatively impact life is one of the most pressing concerns facing the world's expanding population. Furthermore, individuals in developed nations are interested in creating healthier food, that is produced in an environmentally friendly manner, and has an ideal amino acid composition. Traditionally, animal agriculture, and plant protein sources like soybean meal, have served as our primary protein providers. However, these methods require vast amounts of land, and water resources. In fact, plant protein sources may account for over 50% of animal feed protein. To address this issue, scientists are now exploring the use of microbial biomass, such as bacteria, yeast, algae, and fungi, to produce protein. This microbial protein is commonly referred to as single-cell protein, or SCP. Single-cell protein, is the dead and dried biomass of microorganisms, cultured on various carbon and energy sources. It offers a promising solution by utilizing agricultural, food, industrial residues, and wastes as potential substrates for protein production. By converting waste into valuable feed, and food, single-cell protein production can reduce environmental pollution, while providing high-quality nutritional protein biomass. Among microbial protein sources, yeast biomass stands out, due to its rich natural composition. Yeast is packed with proteins, enzymes, peptides, amino acids, carbohydrates, B vitamins, and trace minerals. It is low in lipids, and sodium, making it highly valuable in the pharmaceutical, and food industries. In fact, yeast protein biomass can serve as an alternative to common allergens, like sugar, dairy products, and gluten. This makes it a suitable option for individuals with food allergies, or intolerances. Protein, is an essential nutrient, that supplies the body with nitrogen, and vital amino acids. Typically, we obtain proteins, and amino acids from raw materials, or food products. However, did you know that, yeast protein biomass, can contain even higher protein amounts compared to traditional sources, like plants, and animals. In fact, the protein content in yeast biomass is often comparable to, or higher than that of meat, and soybeans, and it surpasses the protein content in milk. Let's take a closer look at the average protein percentages, in various organisms based on dry weight. Bacteria, 50-65%, Yeast, 29-65%, Algae, 40-60%, Fungi, 30-45%, Meat, 45%, Soybean, 35%, Milk, 25%. Among yeast species, the amino acid content in protein biomass is comparable, and particularly rich in lysine, an amino acid that often limited in wheat, and cereals. The amino acid profile of yeast protein, exceeds the requirements set by the Food and Agricultural Organization, and the World Health Organization, for a balanced human diet. The preferred protein content in yeast biomass, is above 40%. Remarkably, just 100 grams of yeast biomass contains, an average of 47 grams of protein, nearly fulfilling the recommended daily intake for adults, which is around 50 grams. Not only does yeast protein provide all the essential amino acids in the required quantities, but it also offers a complete protein source. It's important to note that, protein deficiency can occur, 
not only when the body lacks a sufficient amount of overall proteins, but also when there is a deficiency in one, or more essential amino acids. Therefore, yeast biomass offers a high-quality protein, with a well-balanced profile of amino acids, including all the necessary exogenous ones, making it suitable for both human, and animal consumption. Additionally, yeast protein biomass, serves as an excellent source of macro elements such as calcium, phosphorus, and zinc. It also contains valuable micronutrients like selenium, and chromium. Literature data have shown that, yeast biomass contains higher levels of nitrogen, and ashes, compared to fungi, algae, and bacteria. Moreover, yeast protein biomass is rich in B-complex vitamins, including vitamin B12, biotin, folic acid, pyridoxine, riboflavin, thiamine, and cyanocobalamin. This nutritional powerhouse, offers an array of health benefits, and can greatly contribute to a balanced diet. With its impressive composition, yeast protein biomass proves to be a valuable resource, for meeting our protein requirements. To ensure safety of dried, and heat-killed yeast protein biomass, it undergoes rigorous testing, and complies with food, and nutrition safety directives. It can even be certified halal, or kosher by recognized organizations. However, individuals with yeast protein sensitivity, or those exposed to yeast inhalation may experience allergic reactions. In conclusion, as we face the challenge of meeting the world's protein needs, exploring alternative sources, like microbial protein is crucial. Yeast protein biomass, with its impressive nutritional profile shows, great promise in fulfilling this demand sustainably. Increased awareness, and acceptance of the benefits associated with consuming this protein, could not only improve the standard of living but also tackle malnutrition. As we strive to find new protein sources, and develop innovative processing technologies, further research remains essential. Join us in our journey toward a protein-rich future, where innovative solutions pave the way for a sustainable, and nutritious world. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, stay healthy, and stay curious.